What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here, my name's Luke, and in this video I'm going to be using the Contraband Skyrocket. Now this was a weapon that was only awarded if you pre-ordered the special edition of the game, until the $100,000 loot hunt where it was subsequently buffed and made easier to acquire. Now this weapon is the only item in the game I believe that levels up as the player does. However, I assume that it does not actually level up to overpower level 8, so this is just going to be a level 72 version, which is going to make it even worse than it already would have been at overpower levels. And we're going to go ahead and use it here to try to clear out the barroom blitz. I expect us to have an absolutely terrible time with this. I have a Krieg build here, spec for explosions, however this grenade is incendiary. Um, so, you know, we're probably not going to get too much help from the build on this. I guess I could spec him out for fire a little bit and try to use it that way, but, um, even then, you know, the grenade wouldn't be doing any damage. It would be the other, you know, fire gear that I might be using. So we're going to use this build, see how it works. Um, now I remember during the $100,000 loot hunt, a gearbox employee that goes by Hellface on the forums had posted that you're supposed to jump, aim down, and then throw this weapon. Now it does say right here on the grenade that it is not intended for indoor use. So that means we should definitely use it indoors. And we're going to try. Going to go ahead and throw it here. As you can see it has a very weird and awkward delivery system where it bounces up into the air or kind of curves up into the air. And even if you throw it right at an enemy, um, a lot of times it doesn't explode on them. As you can see there it bounced off of him before coming around like that. And basically, I think that makes this grenade nearly unusable. Um, I'm using the grog nozzle here just to get health back and stuff when it blows up or when I light something on fire. But even that wasn't enough to keep me alive. Go and go ahead, slag this guy, and get a second wind using the creamer. Because the creamer is awesome. If you haven't used the creamer, I recommend it. It's a very underrated rocket launcher. So we're going to be here, uh, you know, killing some or trying to kill these big guys with it. I don't expect us to be successful at all. Oh, we killed something. We may get blood explosion chains with it, which would be pretty cool because that might allow us to actually kill something. And that didn't work there, so I'm going to go ahead and slag this guy, pull out the creamer, and get a second win there. And that's pretty cool. Because that will also give us some extra grenades via bloodbath, which I was running low on. It's cool that we have a good shock damage over time guy there. What would the Torque DLC be without uh, a whole bunch of damage over time enemies? Oh yeah, it would be better. Anywho, we're going to go ahead and keep trying to kill enemies with this grenade. I know there's absolutely no way we'd actually be able to finish the quest here at Overpower Level 8 with this grenade. It just isn't possible. The damage over time did decent amount of damage to that Torg Architect there, but again, I think relying on damage over time is pretty much the sign of a bad weapon. It doesn't actively try to kill you quite as easily as the Midnight Star does, um, but it definitely can kill you, you know, like a bad grenade will. Again, we are out of grenades. Gonna go ahead and get some extra grenades there from that guy, because, you know, bloodbath and whatnot. We'll see if there are any more grenades up here, because I am out. Excellent. So we got six more grenades here. I guess I'll uh, go ahead and try to get slag on some dudes here and then see if we can't get the grenade to... Well, the grenade killed us there. So, you know, I said it doesn't try to kill you as much as the... Uh, that was kind of cool. The drunk creamer. Um, I said it doesn't try to kill you as much as the Midnight Star does. And nothing tries to kill you quite like the Midnight Star does. But this gets, you know, decently close. Um, killed an enemy with it there, which was surprising. Anyway, um, I would rate this grenade very, very, very bad, near the bottom tier. Um, so we failed this quest now at this point. No real reason to keep dicking around in here. Go ahead and get out of here. Nice blood explosion chain started by the creamer, it sounds like. Creamer's a very good weapon. I recommend using it if you haven't. Um, because it says this weapon is not intended for indoor use, we're going to take it outside here and see if we can get any better results outside. Now, obviously, the map immediately adjacent to this is the Beatdown, which is my pick for the absolute worst map in the game. Because all that happens in this map is a bunch of damage over time wielding enemies, which makes it very irritating to actually play in and almost impossible to have an enjoyable time in. But we're going to go here and try to kill some of these enemies here. Why not? Ooh, so 
Um, we'll try to kill enemies here. Again, we're trying to like aim down so that uh, it will explode. Oh, so we killed a midget. Excellent. That's about as much as I expect to be able to kill here. Again, I'm jumping, aiming down, and it's still not flying anywhere near the enemies that I want it to. Or, it, well, it flies near them, and then it flies away from them. It's definitely not exploding anywhere near them. Some of them are, I guess. Yeah. Well, why would it do that, I wonder? I'm not sure. So, you know, I don't think this weapon is very good. Um, I would rate it as among the worst grenades in the game. Up there with the Midnight Star and uh, Rolling Thunder, which I also think is pretty bad. If I release the Rolling Thunder video before this one, I'll go ahead and link it in the description. I'll also definitely link the Midnight Star in the description. That is, of course, if I remember when I actually write the descriptions for these. Anywho, I would absolutely you know, rate this as one of the worst items in the game. It's not quite as bad as the Midnight Star because it's not on a specific path to kill you quite like that one is, but it's bad. Um, if I had another grenade, I would try to kill this guy with it, but I don't. So we're just going to kill ourselves real quick and then finish this guy off using the creamer. Then I'll go ahead and show you the uh, skyrocket one more time, and that'll be about the end of that. As always, guys, I thank you very much for watching. Thank you for the recommendation for this weapon. I had indeed forgot about it. It is absolutely one of the worst items in the game. It has almost no use or viability at all. I guess early in the game when you're fighting primarily flesh enemies at a very low level, it might have been nice to have this fire grenade, you know, assuming you didn't get lucky and find a better fire grenade, because just about any other fire grenade probably would have done the job better, assuming that it didn't have the rubberized prefix or delivery system, which, you know, it's arguable if rubberized might even be better than this particular delivery system where it just kind of floats into the air. I'll show it to you one more time because we got another grenade from the bloodbath of killing that guy. Were we able to push him down the hill with our bullets there? Nifty, I had never noticed that before. Can we keep pushing him? Yeah, move. There we go. Oh, it's like a slip and slide. That's neat. Anywho, a very not wet slip and slide though. What if we use this? Does that push him down? Alright, anywho, we're going to throw this one more time and look at how it goes, and that will be basically the end of the video. So, I guess if you were way uphill from an enemy, you could make it work or something, but I think I was uphill of some of these enemies and it still wasn't working. It worked on this little midget, but that's only because he has a very tiny health pool. As always, guys, one more time, thank you very much for watching, and I do hope to catch you next time. If you have any other suggestions for this series and bad weapons or gear for me to test out, go ahead and leave them in the comments because we're trying to get a Borderlands 2 video out every day until Borderlands the pre-sequel comes out, at which point we'll be making videos for that. One more time, guys. I know I've said it before, but thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you next time. Bye, guys.